What's up everybody, I'm back at y'all with another video, now for this one, I'm reviewing Terminator Dark Fate. I just got finished watching it, and um, I, I was going to go see it in theaters, but I didn't have the money at the time, so when I bought it, I watched it, did I enjoy it? Um, yes I did. Now, let's talk about this. Now, the action in this film were amazing, and um, it's I just can't believe that... There might be a little bit of spoilers, but not much in this review. But I just couldn't believe that at the opening scene of the movie, um, the Terminator, one of the Terminators, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator, um, shot John Connor and killed John Connor at the opening scene of the movie. And then from there, you know, we get on with the story. Now, I'm not going to spoil too much in this review. The only thing I want to say is, I'm, I'm probably going to spoil nothing else, maybe not. But all I, I can say is, this film was top-notch action. And, you know, um, the last two Terminator movies were PG-13. And then they brought it back to rated R again. And this film was hardcore rated R. Um, the bad Terminator was cutting off heads in the film. Like, he was sitting there going through motherfuckers cutting off heads and stabbing the shit out of people. It was brutally crazy. And, um, of course, this term, this girl Terminator right here, she was like a half-human and half-Terminator. And she was badass in this film. This film was intense. It was good. And I like the look and feel and vibe of the film. Um, the look and feel of the vibe of the film, it feels like it got made in 1990. It had a 1990s feel. It felt like a classic. And, um... It was just amazing. You know, I enjoyed the film a lot. Um, and, you know, a lot of people didn't like the last few Terminator movies. A lot of people didn't like Terminator 3, or Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis. I, the only one I really didn't like is Terminator Salvation. That's the only one I really didn't like because it was boring, it was bland. But, you know, the ones I really do enjoy is the first one, second one, Third one and Terminator Genesis. And a lot of people don't like Terminator Genesis, but I enjoy that film quite a bit. Um, and the only one I really didn't like is Terminator Salvation. Now, Terminator Dark Fate, I think it might be one of the best Terminator films. I probably got to watch it again to make sure, but, you know, um, this is my first time watching it. And all I can say is it's a good movie. It's entertaining. Um, I like how they bring back... Um, I like how they bring back the girl that played Sarah Connor in the first two films. Um, and uh, and she was great in this film. I think her name's like Linda Hamilton, I think. But, a real name. But yeah, um, she was great in this film. Everybody did a phenomenal job in this film. Um, would I recommend it? Yes. I highly recommend y'all buying this movie. If you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend y'all buying it and checking it out. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand the hate when I was watching the film. Um, there's a lot of action. I'm talking about there's a lot. Almost the whole movie. But there are times where it started getting a little slow. At times, start dragging a little bit. But not much, but a little bit towards like... The middle, and then, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up towards, like, the very middle of the movie. Um, and his character was great in this film. Um, if I had to rate this film, I love this film, as y'all could tell right now. If I had to um, rate this film, I would probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10 for Ter Terminator Dark Fate. It's good. It's entertaining. Um, and I've seen that quite a few people didn't like the film, and I could un never understood why when I was while I was watching it. I was like, well, there are some issues, but there wasn't a lot of issues that people made it out to be, you know. And um, and I love the look and vibe of the film. I loved almost loved every single part of the film. But there are a little bit of slip parts, not much, but a little bit, not much, but but yeah, I was entertained. In this film, um, if you're a Terminator fan, I highly recommend y'all checking this out. Um, but, you know, don't pay attention to some of the reviews. Some people might, 
I mean, it's all opinions, you know. Some people might love it. Some people might hate it. I love this movie. That's why I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's a good score. I love this movie. And I um, highly recommend it. And it takes place a lot of years after the event of Terminator 2. Judgment Day. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. It takes a, a lot of years after that film. It takes place a lot of years after that film. So, yeah. Um, this film is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. I enjoy it. If you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend y'all watching this Terminator Dark Fate film. I love this film. I love this film. I would actually watch it again. I might watch it again tomorrow night or something. Or, or a few days. Like, I might watch it again. Because I enjoyed this film. It does have some rewatchabilities in it. The final battle was freaking epic as hell. Which is, I don't want to spoil that for y'all. There are some emotional scenes at the end of the film. Which I don't want to spoil. Um, for y'all that haven't seen it. Um, if I had to rate this film, it's just a 9.5 out of 10, you know. 9.5 out of 10 for Terminator Dark Fate. And I highly recommend y'all buying this on Blu-ray and DVD and digital. So, yeah, it's on DVD now. I highly recommend y'all buying it. It's a good movie. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this review, please hit the like button. Please subscribe and share. And also with the bell. So you know new videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoy this video. And I'm out. Peace.